Good morning. It's a Thursday, and it's August the 7th, 2014. Uh, beautiful morning. Sun is shining here in Daytona Beach, Florida. The readings for today are Psalm 79, 80, and 81, and then uh, Romans chapter 8, verses 1 to 18. Let's look at Psalms 80. There's three verses in Psalms 80 that sound almost the same, but they're a little different. They're not, they're not perfectly the same. Verse 3 says, Turn us again, O God, and cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. And then in verse 7 it says, Turn us again, O God of hosts. Notice a little addition here. And cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. And then verse 19, Turn us again, O Lord God of hosts. Cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. So when God is repetitious, it's by reason. Don't ever forget that. He didn't forget what he said, and the the scribe didn't rewrite it, but uh, God was mentioned once and then uh, in in two parts and then three parts. Uh, Some have said, and I agree with it, probably referring to God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. One God always working in perfect unity, always working together. And that's a wonderful thing, the God of glory, the God of hosts, the God, the Lord God of hosts. Oh, it's wonderful. I hope you have them as your, it says he can uh, turn us again, O Lord God of hosts, cause thy face to shine. See, when God shines upon us, he's light, light, darkness. This world is full of sin and darkness, and we need to be turned, and we shall be saved, saved from the penalty of sin saved from the daily uh, adversaries, and on and on. Oh, get on God's side. Now, I was on a uh, live radio program, and a new fellow on there I never met before, and he had some different ideas than I do about how to help the homeless and how to do do things to, to that. And, and the host of the program said, well, can it be... Can't you do it your way? Can't you do it your way with God and His way without God and reach the same objectives? Well, He can make some temporary gains, and we will do that as we minister to homeless now and putting together a plan in Daytona Beach. There'll be some temporary efforts to keep control and direction. You have to have organization; has to be under control. But the permanent answer uh, is the Lord Jesus Christ and salvation through His precious blood. And the power of his resurrection. That's what we must understand. And and uh, the others are temporary. And this is like Band-Aid on cancer. We have the cure. We have the, uh, the re- reason that uh, a person can have forgiveness that was mentioned. Well, there's, you can't just do it your way, Varga. That's what they said. Uh, uh, there's very, very many different things. There's many different situations and so on. Uh, Old people, young people, veterans, children, on and on and on. But the main problem of everybody is sin. You get people's sins forgiven and and, um, get them turned by God, and then they can be saved, and his face can shine upon us and bring us blessing. Well, I hope that's uh, what we've been doing this for 45 years uh, through the help of God and yielding to God, people being saved and turned and and have a whole life. You'd be part of it too. Uh, Daytona Rescue Mission, we're doing a lot. Uh, spoke with the mayor of, of Daytona Beach yesterday, uh, texting with him, and and he's very involved in this whole process. And he and I agreed that this is the time to do something and uh, that we can address the homeless problem. We believe that the Daytona Rescue Mission will be a big part of it. Help us if you can. Uh, it would be a blessing. Thank you so much for uh, caring. Thank you for so much for viewing this. And look on our website. Tell us about our background and, and this and that. Uh, hit the various things. You want to see a Sunday sermon, click on sermons on our webpage. Um, and I think it will be a blessing to you. You have a wonderful day. This is Gabriel Varga with the Daytona Rescue Mission. God bless you.